So the IB want you to know certain words uh, to do with this process. So we'll go through those two. There's a beaker and in it I'm going to put an electrolyte. Let's choose lead bromide, lead 2 bromide. Now it can't be a solid, that won't conduct electricity. So it has to be a liquid. So I'll put these dashes in to symbolize a liquid. How do you turn a solid into a liquid? Where well, you heat it up. So this process uh, could be very hot. Now it's a liquid in SL, and if you're doing HL, it could also be aqueous. But the chemistry is trickier there. That comes up in a later assessment statement. Definition of an electrolyte, well, it's as a solid, it's an insulator, and it's a conductor as a liquid or aqueous. And the second part of that is that the electrolyte is decomposed by electricity. That's a battery. The long end of the battery is the positive end. Imagine taking that long bar, snapping it in two, and you can make a plus out of it, a little cross out of it to symbolize plus. This is a source of electricity. So you have to put electricity into this process, whereas the other ones you've been making electricity. Don't worry what DC is. The IB has never asked that question about AC and DC, but it must be DC if you're actually trying to do this. To connect the battery to the electrolyte, <coughs> There's some conductors, otherwise known as wires. So there's a subtlety between a conductor and an electrolyte. So both allow the passage of electricity, uh, but conductors are unchanged by the electricity, when well, the electrolyte is decomposed by it. Two electrodes, which go into the molten electrolyte. Now these uh, could be made of graphite, or platinum, both of which are unreactive and won't react with the, uh, the hot electrolyte or the products of the electrolysis. So electrolysis means breaking by electricity. Lysis means to break or to separate, and electro, well that's electricity. Uh, another form of electrolysis, using different equipment, uh, you put electricity into hair follicles and that produces sodium hydroxide which then kills the hair follicle and the hair won't grow back. Now, and it's easy to confuse these two ideas of electrolysis and an electrochemical cell. So those are all the different words for each one. Electrolysis, you add electricity. Electrochemical cell, you make electricity. But the questions often look very similar, but they're very different in concept.